Hey guys, I'm Shantanu Udasi back again with another video for Analytics India magazine recapping everything that has been happening in the world of artificial intelligence. I have gathered a few stories and let's just not waste any more time and jump right into our stories. Our first story is that when AI turns rogue, the dark story behind AI dungeon. So this article nicely captures that if we give artificial intelligence an autonomous capability of creating scenarios and writing scenarios and the only place it takes its inspiration from is the internet then dark things are about to happen. So in 2020, an AI based game called AI Dungeon was released and it was a single and multiplayer text adventure game that used artificial intelligence to generate unlimited content and scenarios. So this game is based on something like Dungeons and Dragons, which is a choose your own adventure board game. But except in this game, artificial intelligence create new scenarios for you based on your text descriptions. Therefore, the game developers need not have to script a path for every player like they had to do previously in a limited capacity, except this artificial intelligence provided unlimited scenarios and paths dependent on the player and the text that he inputs. But soon enough, they realized that the artificial intelligence did go rogue and he started typing scenarios which were very dark and abusive. So some players in the game started exploiting the GPT-3 technology to develop sexually explicit and abusive adventure games. Some players complained that the algorithm was suggesting sexual adventures to them without them prompting anything sexual at all. So developers were quick to comment that they will not tolerate anything that is abusive or anything sexually explicit including minors. As a result, the company did release a test system to prevent sexual content that flouted company policies. Therefore, it comes down to GPT-3 which was a breakthrough innovation for 2020 with 175 billion parameters. It became the largest language model to be ever deployed then. In contrast, its predecessor GPT-2 had just 1.5 billion parameters. But the research was still skeptical for GPT-3 as its only source of creating data and learning data was through the internet. So it could become very dangerous very soon. They had warned that the misuse could be in the form of spamming and phishing attacks fraud, abuse of legal process and social engineering pretext. Plus the problem with the text generation capabilities that are acquired mainly by the internet is that it carries an inherent risk of bias. Moving on to our next story. Our next story is about revolutionary chip that IBM has just announced which is 2 nanometer in size and can provide much more efficient power source for your laptops, smartphones and other equipment. So this chip is developed using nanosheet technology and the company has also said that this can create advanced semiconductors and cater to growing chip demand. This 2 nanometer processor can quadruple the power and battery life of your cell phone from what it currently is. This chip can accommodate up to 50 billion transistor on a fingernail sized chip. More transistors on a chip will enable designers to innovate for leading edge workloads such as artificial intelligence, cloud computing, hardware enforced security and encryption. This is still a proof of concept as IBM has said it could be a while before it is available commercially. Moving on to our next story, our next story is about Pentagon and how it is inching towards an AI controlled autonomous weapon. A lot of drills have been conducted by the Pentagon's research agency which is controlling artificial intelligence and autonomous weapons and they are starting to feel that artificial intelligence is the way forward and they need to remove human oversight altogether. It is a never ending debate and debate is still going on if autonomous weapons are accurate or not or will they become something that the human race regret like they regretted the innovation of nuclear powered weapons. As we discussed a few days ago that there is something called human in a loop and augmented intelligence is the best way moving forward but people and higher ups in the US military thinks that human in a loop is a lost cause. So basically human in a loop is a process where artificial intelligence is fed data by the humans and then humans take decisions based on that data and the data is further fed into the artificial intelligence and it becomes more efficient. But the people in charge are saying that they need to take human from this loop altogether and they will have to make autonomous decisions by artificial intelligence and then the algorithm will learn from its mistakes and will keep on getting better and better. The main argument is that artificial intelligence is much faster in taking split second decisions that a human cannot. 
and they are suggesting that when there is a crisis situation the human brain will take up to a certain amount to take some decisions while artificial intelligence can take decisions in a split second while some people are disputing that artificial intelligence based and autonomous weapons will be a huge mistake for humanity and they should be banned as the usage of chemical weapons was banned this is an ever evolving debate and we will keep following it closely moving on to our next story our next story is about nokia and its blockchain powered data marketplace so we know that data is very valuable to all the companies in today was to make their consumer decisions better that's why they need to get the data from the data marketplace and this data should be encrypted and should be safe and should not be leaked or they should be safe from any cyber attacks therefore nokia's data marketplace as a service will allow businesses to monetize their data safely and securely nokia is predicting that billions of dollars of transaction for the data is going to happen through them eventually So Nokia is claiming that they can provide trusted data by aggregating distributed data sets and exchange them securely and this security of this exchange is ensured by a private blockchain network Nokia has also suggested that communication service providers could become data marketplace providers themselves by providing a secure gateway between customers or business ecosystem participants securely and then they can monetize the process safety and security of ai data sets is crucial because every ai algorithm is vulnerable to privacy and cyber security threats so this is going to create a secure environment for data exchange moving on to our next story our next story is about a startup that was creating ai wearables for amazon is going to create medical equipment which will allow doctors to keep check on their patients remotely So this startup Bioformis was founded in 2015 and since then it has been using artificial intelligence to help predict treat and manage diseases. They have already created breakthrough artificial intelligence algorithms that can detect any disease before it even happens. Their aim with this new equipment is to drive operational efficiency at scale. This innovation is going to have a dual role of serving both the patient by predicting problems before they start and guiding treatment and physicians and care teams by making their workflow easier. So the success of this innovation is based on a lot of stakeholders and their growth in the clinical space will likely include strategic partnerships and deals in order to be able to scale across all the 50 states of United States of America and deliver in home care. So those were all the stories that I have for you today. Click on the thumbs up if you like this video that really helps us a lot. All these articles are worth reading in their entirety. Links for them will be in the description down below. And while you are at it, click on that subscribe button and ring that notification bell so that you never miss any other updates from Analytics India magazine.